For practice at self-check 3.20 string expressions 2, we need to assume that the following variables have been declared, and we need to evaluate the following expressions. Looking at these expressions, we start with string or str1.length. What this does is it gets the length of a string. So we're going to get the length of this the length of this first string, and we have 6. Next, we have str2.length. This gets the length of our second string. So this is 19. Next, we have str1.2 lowercase, which makes our whole str1 lowercase. Then we have str2.2 uppercase, and dot .2 uppercase makes the string all uppercase. Next, we have str1.substring 2, comma 4. So the substring, it takes two parameters, or it can take one. In this case, it takes two, two, and four. The first integer, Two is where it starts and it takes this part of the string, and four is where it ends it. So we have substring of one, and this goes by index. So we have index zero, index one, and then we have index two. So we start at e, and we have index three, and lastly we have index four at d. However, we do include um, we do include index uh, two. So we do include this index. However, we do not include the last index, so it's just going to be QE. And that's going to be the same thing for str2.substring. Next, we have str1.indexof. And what this does is it returns the index of the character that's passed in. Next, we have str1.indexof. And this returns the same thing. And this is going to repeat for str2. And then lastly, we have str3, where we have dot index of, and then we have a capital X in here. However, when we look at our str3, we can see that we don't have a capital X in here. So this is going to default and print out negative 1. Next, we have str2 plus str3 dot character at 17. What this does is it, for this part, takes the character that's at index 17, in this case, it is S in our third string, and then it appends it to our string that's str2. So it's going to print out str2 with the character in string 3 at index 17, which in this case is S, so we're printing out the second string with an S at the end. Next, we have str3.substring. 9 comma str3 that index of e what this is doing is we are looking at our third string right here we are at the ninth character or we're at the ninth index and at this ninth index we are going to look at the index of e the next um, time the index of e happens so what this is basically saying is we're getting the index that prints out e first. We print out e if we print out e um, a couple times, this returns the first time e is printed out. It returns the index the first time e is printed out. So we have nine, and then whatever this index is. This index for our code here happens to be ten. So we're just going to print out the value or the character at nine, which is b. Next, we have str3.substring s12, and so we're just going to print out the characters from 7 through 12, not including 12. Next, we have str2.2 lowercase dot substring 913. So what this is doing is it is looking at our second string, and it is getting the string or it's getting the substring from this that is between indexes 9 and 13, which is mega. And in here, mega, or the M, is capitalized, but since we're doing dot .2 lowercase, it makes it a lowercase. And then we have an add sign right here, which is just going to put these strings together. We have str3.substring, so now we're looking at our third string, and we're going to make a substring of 18, so the index 18 minus, or um, the index of 18, which is 
C right here. And then we also have str 3 dot length minus 7. And this will end at O right here. So we print out corp because we don't include our last index in the dot substring. And then we just put these strings together. So we get mega corp. And if we submit this, we can see that we have passed all 14 tests. And this is the output for the self-check exercise.